So hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a tray that I wanted to work on. I've been wanting to make one of these trays for a really long time. Um, these are the colors that I chose and to use. I like experimenting with colors. I've never used these colors before, so I'm not sure how they're going to turn out. So you'll find out, we'll both find out together. Um, these are mica powder colors, the wine, the gold, the gray, and the pink. And then the white is um, Casting Craft. Um, I got that online from Amazon. Um, that works really great in giving you a bright, um, vibrant white. Um, I have my, uh, white in my powder, but it doesn't give me a really great bright white. It's sort of opaque. So the uh, Casting Craft works really well. So all I'm doing right now is adding some of my mica powder to my resins, and you don't need a lot. Mica powder goes a really, really long way. So I'm adding just a little bit of each color, the pink, the uh, wine, and the gold. And then the, the gray, I'm going to use it as a little filler, and I only put it in a little smaller cup. And all I'm doing is just wiping off of my silicone. I've already cleaned it, but I'm just wiping it down because... Um, I got some of the dust from the mica powder on it. So I'm just wiping it down with paper towels, um, making sure that there's nothing on it. And then um, I'm going to mix this, just kind of thoroughly mix it. As you can see, the pink is very bright and vibrant. I didn't use a lot. You don't need a lot. And all I'm doing is mixing my pinks. And now this is my wine color. And then I'm mixing my gold. I'm just going to keep thoroughly mixing it. Alrighty, now that my colors are mixed, so what I am going to do is lay out my pattern. And there's no rhyme or reason, I'm just going to kind of play around with it. Like I said, this is my first time trying out these colors. And I add a little bit of glitter to this, that's why you see little sparkles in it. So I'm just going to play around with these colors and just kind of see what works and what doesn't work. My sister kind of gave me this idea of using burgundy and yellow. Um, I decided to throw a little pink in there. Um, just to kind of give it a little bit more of a contrast and then give it um, highlights of gray and white. So I'm just going to play around with the colors and just kind of pour them on my silicone mat. That, uh, this pink almost looks like a pearl colored pink. So pretty. Just dropping stuff everywhere. Okay, I've added my wine. I've added my pink, and now I'm going to add the gold. And I sort of want it to look like a wavy design. I didn't want it to be straight or sideways. I sort of want it to flow like water. Like, kind of like water or waves. Like I say, this is my first time using these colors, so we're going to see what they turn out together, what it looks like together. And I'm just going to keep kind of repeating the same pattern that I just did. It's a pretty color. Pretty color burgundy. And I like the little flakes of glitter that I've added to this. It's really pretty. It's making it sparkle. And I'll go back in later to add gold leaf paper to my gold mica powder. I don't know why I didn't add it when I was pouring it, but I'll go back in and add it later. And I'm just still repeating the process. The pink is really, really pretty. I'll use these colors again, and next time I'll just use the um, sort of uh, reddish color and pink and white and sort of leave out the gold and the gray and kind of see what those colors turn out like. Okay, now that I've added my colors, I'm going to go and add my strips of gray. And then this is just defining the line and sort of breaking up the colors. 
I'm going to mix a lot of this because I won't need a lot. <clears throat> and that's the white casting craft. And as you can see, even though I did not add a lot of white to this, the white will spread very fluently. I don't know if that's a word or not, but the white will definitely spread. So I didn't need a lot of white, is what I'm saying. And I'm, right now I'm using my heat gun, and what this does is sort of move around the colors to make them sort of flow. And it sort of pushes the colors into each other. So I'm just going to keep playing around with it to see what patterns form. It sort of looks like a cloudy effect. If I went with blue, different shades of blue would almost, almost look like an ocean. Maybe that's something I'll try next time. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to clear my throat. I'm drinking some lemon water. <clears throat> and all I'm doing is just using my excess colors. You don't want to waste resin. Anytime you have any extra resin left over, you kind of um, well, what I do is just pour it in a silicone mold, uh, something small like a pendant necklace or something or a charm just to keep from wasting it. I'm going to use a toothpick to sort of drag my colors and just kind of keep blending them. The heat gun was kind of pushing around the white. I kind of want the other colors to kind of push around a little bit more. So I'm just going to kind of drag the other colors into one another and just kind of see what what forms <clears throat> the colors are looking a little questionable right now because like I said I've never tried these colors together so um, I'm going to continue to play around with this and just kind of um, help the colors kind of move along and, <clears throat> and kind of flow a little bit better. So right now I'm using my jumbo popsicle stick to kind of push the white in a little bit, kind of spread it out. And it's, it's a tray. It's not rocket science. You're going to just kind of play around with the colors. Um, the ideal is to sort of give this a marbled effect to kind of have the colors swirled into each other. I'm using the heat gun again to kind of push the colors again. That white is overpowering, even though I used just a little bit. It's kind of overtaking the rest of the colors. I'm going to add some more pink since I have it left over. And this is a pretty deep silicone mold. I know it doesn't look like it's deep, but it it, it, it is. I need to wipe this off with paper towels. I'm just going to keep playing around with the colors and keep adding the colors. My sister actually wants me to make her some jewelry. I've made jewelry with my resin. I made black and white jewelry. Um, and she wants me to make her some jewelry with these colors. Um, the burgundy and the gold. So that's, you know, I had these colors in mind to kind of play around with them just to kind of see how they turn out. And all I'm doing is lifting up my mat to sort of push the colors to kind of help them flow along. I still don't like the pattern and, you know, um, I'm just going to kind of keep playing around with it. So right now I'm just kind of making swirls. I kind of like the way the swirls are turning out. The swirls aren't turning out really bad. They kind of look pretty good. So 
It's looking a little bit better. The gray has kind of gotten lost in there. I'm going to have to add some more gray. It's gotten lost in there. Keep dropping stuff. And these are my handles that I'm gonna use. These are uh, drawer pulls. Um, I ordered black. I ordered these off of Amazon. I ordered them in a pack 30. Um, they have them in different colors, different textures, materials. Um, I ordered black just, you know, to kind of see how the trays would turn out. Um, they have so many other colors. I'm going to order other some other colors just to kind of play around with it. But for now, I just ordered black. I'm just topping this off with some more clear resin to kind of help the colors flow along. I'm anxious to see how this is going to turn out, guys. You know, like I said, this is my first time using these colors. You know? We'll see how it turns out. I think, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic, you know. I, I've done miracles with many other colors working with resin, so I'm pretty optimistic about this. I'm not going to give up. I have a little bit more. I don't want to waste anything. Just kind of swirl this around a little bit more. <laughs> Add some more of the pink. Might as well just top it off. I just keep dropping my paper towels. Now I'm going to kind of go back in and fill the lines with the gray. Um, they kind of got lost in the mix. So I'm just kind of going back over them. Maybe I should have darkened the gray. It kind of got lost in these colors. They're very subtle. And I thought the pink would be subtle, but, you know, the gray surprised me. Topping it off with the last of my gray. Okay, so this is the finished product. What do you guys think so far? I went back in and added some gold leaf paper to the top of the gold. Um, and it looks really pretty. I kind of like it now. I was a little apprehensive about what it would look like. But I'm actually kind of happy now. I like how the colors kind of, you know, the white sort of looks like, you know, cloud-like. And then the glitter from the uh, burgundy. It's really, really pretty. And this is the bottom. See what the bottom looks like. And this is the top. What do you guys think? I actually, you know, I was a little concerned about what it would look like. But it actually looks really, really nice. I kind of like the colors. And, you know, while... Um, this was setting up i decided to make another one and all i did was add um some stars that i have i have some uh, rose colored stars they're rose um and silver and i just added that and then i added some stones in the corner and then i added my handles to this and then i added a little bit of gold leaf paper to that one as well these are very very pretty aren't they pretty i want to kind of to keep the colors in the same family I'm rubbing the top, and while I'm rubbing, I can feel like little tiny, tiny um, specks of the gold leaf. So all I'm doing is just sanding it down right now. I want a really, really smooth surface. Just going to keep sanding it down. Okay, so I've sanded it down really well, and then I went and washed my trays off with soapy water. And so right now all I'm going to do is just make sure they're completely dry. I can't have any water on this whatsoever because water will ruin the finished product. And so now that they're completely dry, um, I'm just making sure, just testing them, making sure it's completely smooth and dry. Um, 
you want to definitely wash your tray off after you've uh, sanded it down because you'll have dust particles and you don't want the dust in your resin. You know, you want a clear finish product. These are the rose colored stars that I use, the glittered stars, um, and rose and silver, and then the, uh, the pebbles that I used in the corner. Sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied. I've been drinking lemon water and I have a piece of lemon stuck in my throat. So all I am doing right now is after I've sanded it down because it's a little rough and you can see all the sanding and the scraping and I add some more reds and what this will do is smooth it out and it'll add a clear top coat which is what you want. You want a finished product. And so I'm just going to add you know, resin on both of them. I'm going to add a little bit at a time and just kind of smooth it out. I'm really, really liking this. This turned out really pretty. I was a little worried about the colors. You still don't see the gray, though. The gray kind of got lost again. So maybe next time I'll either darken the gray or I just probably won't even use it at all. But it looks pretty good. Hope you guys are liking it. Um, please thumbs up the channel if you're watching this video um, this long. Um, please thumb up, leave a comment. And make sure you hit your notification bell so that way when I post more videos you'll be notified of the next video release. So all I'm going to do is continue to just kind of pour resin on top of the layer to cover up, you know, the sanding and it'll clear it out. And right now it's smoothing it out as well because I've sanded the surface really well. So just going to continue, continue pouring the resin and making sure I'm in the corners and and the resin will level out. It will level out to the sides. I'm just lifting the tray to kind of make it flow a little bit better. It's looking really, really pretty. I like it. And I'm going to continue to do the same thing for this. So I'm just going to continue to smooth out the resin on this. Now chat with you in a few. Okay, so I am done adding my resin and right now I'm going to use this heat gun and what it'll do is help smooth out the resin to the corners and then it'll also help pop uh, any necessary bubbles that arise. Alrighty, I've put the heat gun away. So now what I am going to do is I'm going to attach something to my tray. I kind of got this idea. When I went online looking at different videos on resin trays, you know, everybody has, you know, just a typical tray. I like doing different things and coming up with different ideas. So I decided to make a jewelry box. And um, I just unmolded it. And I put dried flowers in it. As you can see, these are my dried flowers. And, you know, I wanted to attach a jewelry box to my resin tray. It's going to be a jewelry tray, so I decided to add a jewelry box to it. And that looks so pretty. I wanted the colors to match the color of the resin, so I kind of chose flowers that kind of matched. You know what? I don't think I'm going to put it in this corner. I think I'm going to put it in the corner where the white is. Trying to figure out what's the best angle. I got resin all over my glove. So I've attached my um, bottom por uh, portion of my jewelry box. And I am going to um, unmow my, um, whenever I get myself situated. Hold on. I needed to wipe my glove off. And so now I am going to unmold the lid to the jewelry box. And I used the same colors, the same wine mica powder color for this as well, with the glitter added as well. It's hard kind of getting it out with the top part. And that's the bottom and this is the top. And I ordered this online as well from Amazon. I'm 
you know, you just kind of put the top on it. And then this uh, jewelry box will harden inside of the resin. So hi guys, welcome back oh, to my channel. Right. And I wanted to show you the tray that I was working on. This is the finished result. And um, on step two, when I did it, I had attached a jewelry box to it. So this is on tight. It won't move, it won't come off. And this is the tray. What do you think of these colors? This is wine and gold and white. And then I have flakes of gold leaf in there. And then I touch um, marble bottom footings for it. Um, let me show you. This is the tray that I use. It's pretty big, as you can see. To make this. And then this is the mold I use to make my um, jewelry box with the light. And this is it. And all I did was pour uh, resin in there and then I added some dried flowers. I don't know if you can see um, the flowers, but I add different color flowers. My ring light is really bright, but I'll try to make it work. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the flowers. Can you see it? I had purples and pinks and stuff. And then I attached it to my tray, my resin tray. Um, I wanted the colors to be um, sort of matched. So that's why I chose these colors because I wanted it to be the same as the jewelry box. And then this is the lid that came with it. And this is the mica powder I used, the wine colored mica powder. And then all I did was add a little bit of rose colored glitter to it. And then poured it inside of the mold. And this was the top flakes, top part. And you can get this off of Amazon. I got both of these off of Amazon. So this is the large tray that I did, as you can see. And then I did another one, and this is the small tray that I did. Um, it's kind of hard to see it with the ring light. But I put um, colored rocks on the corner. These are the colored rocks. I colored these myself. These were sort of, what do you call this? Um, crystals or whatever, crushed rocks. And I couldn't find the color that I needed, so I just went ahead and bought this blue. And um, so what I did was added some of the mica powder to this. Oh, my ring light. Added some of the mica powder to it. And just got a spoon and mixed it up, and then that's how I got the color. And so all I did was put it in the corners see it and then the middle part I use these little colored stars these are rose gold colored stars I got these from Amazon I don't know if you can see it the rain light is really really bright I need to fix it but uh, but this is what I put in the inside I mixed this with the resin and then I poured it in on the inside and this is the smaller tray 